setting and achieving your goals is a lot like playing the game rock, paper, scissors. Hey, are you ready to play? Well, let's go. Hello again, everyone. I'm Eli's dad with Project Eli, where we educate, we lead, and we inspire. And I was thinking that rock, paper, scissors is really a good formula for setting and achieving goals. And I read an article by a gentleman named Thomas Opung, and today we're going to talk about the rock part of rock, paper, scissors, which is to get you to rock and roll, and also to be very firm in, set in your goal setting, to be like a rock. And without further ado, I'm just going to read you this article because it is so good. Once again, shout out to Thomas Opung for a tremendously good article. Pursuing the wrong goals is one of the worst things you can do in life. In the end, you're likely to end up miserable. William Carey once said, and I quote, I'm not afraid of failure. I'm afraid of succeeding at things that don't matter, unquote. It's thought-provoking and very insightful. There are potentially endless pursuits in this life, but few things are truly worth chasing. Part of finding success in life is knowing what to pursue or spend your limited time doing. Quote, our greatest fear should not be of failure, but of succeeding at things in life that don't really matter. Unquote. So says Francis Chan. Knowing what you want or need and what you don't need is life changing. Most people don't. It's the reason millions of people have so many regrets when they get old because they pursued the wrong goals. Many people are on autopilot. They're ticking the boxes society expects of them without taking time to reflect or think about what's really important for their lives. They get really good at doing the same things every day but rarely pause to ask why or question the things that they've prioritized in life. Bob Goff, the author of Love Does, Discover a Secretly Incredible Life in an Ordinary World, writes, I used to be afraid of failing at something that really mattered to me. But now, I'm more afraid of succeeding at things that don't matter. Unquote. Succeeding at the wrong goals can cost you your life. We should all routinely, routinely ask ourselves, would I rather fail doing something hugely significant and meaningful than to succeed at something that has no meaningful impact in my life? Never confuse a single defeat with a final defeat, says F. Scott Fitzgerald. Is it more important that I achieve 10% of things that truly make a difference in my life or to achieve 100% of things that are meaningless. How much of your time is spent on the trivial or meaningless? When is the last time you took a risk knowing full well that you could fail? Most people do what they do out of fear of failing. They keep climbing the same ladder because it's the safest option. You don't want to climb up the ladder of success to find at the end that it was leaning against the wrong wall. Montepert once said, and I quote, Do not confuse motion and progress. A rocking horse keeps moving, but it doesn't make any progress. Unquote. There are a lot of things in life you could do to live your best life. And there are a lot of things you could succeed at if only your ladder is leaned at the right wall. Succeeding at the lesser or wrong things at the cost of the greater things is its own form of failure. Don't be afraid to pursue things, activities, and projects that mean the world to you. Even if you fail, you're better off than everyone else who isn't trying or living a lie. John Keats encourages us to use failure as a learning experience. Quote, don't be discouraged by failure. It can be a positive experience. 
Failure is, in a sense, the highway to success, inasmuch as every discovery of what is false leads us to seek earnestly after what is true, and every fresh experience points out some form of error which we shall afterward carefully avoid." Unquote. So don't waste your time on fretting about failing because failure is feedback. Don't waste or misdirect your energy on the wrong things. Don't choose specific paths in life because they're easy or safe. Choose them because they're important to you. Choose them because they bring out the best in you. Choose them because they make you come alive. Make mistakes of ambition and not mistakes of sloth. Develop the strength to do bold things, not the strength to suffer. So says Machiavelli. Choose your battles wisely. The courage to go after meaningful goals in life matters more than, than succeeding at conventional goals. So live with audacity. These are a few questions that can help you fail forward and drive toward true and meaningful success. So here are a couple of questions. What truly matters to me? Will the things I do today truly make life better for me in five or ten years time? Do I know my real purpose? Are my current activities helping to fulfill that purpose? What do I need to change right now that can help me pursue the right and meaningful goals? The incredible and better life you want is on the other side of fear. Too few of us think of our work, of our efforts, in terms of what is really important. Take a moment to think about the trajectory of your life and everything that you're currently doing. Are you still on track to living your best life? Time is short. The stakes are high. Choose to live boldly. So set some bold goals and embrace them. And because we're never going to end a meeting on a philosophical note, once again, big shout out to Thomas Opung, great article. Let's get out there and charge! I'm Eli's dad.